Good evening. Hello. Hi, good evening, teacher. How are you, Jocelyn? Good evening. I'm pretty well. I'd like to hear that. What happened to you yesterday? I couldn't be your teacher. I got an issue and uh, and I couldn't. I, I tried, but it was 9.48. <laughs> When I was trying to access, I was, uh, come on, no, 10 minutes just to say goodbye to the, to the partner, no. Well, every but minute counts. Clearly, uh, yes, I every fall, minute. was my fault, so. It's okay, don't worry. Just yeah. remember, remember that, guys, every minute counts on this attendance thing. Today is Tuesday, December 7th. 10 days, starting today, I guess. And stop 10 days and we're done with your module four. Wow. And how many days until Christmas? Mm, let me see. <laughs> 12 days. Come on, guys, 17 days, right? 17 days. Mm -hmm. 17 days until Christmas Eve. Are you ready? For Christmas Eve? No, let's not talk about that because you get hungry, I get hungry, everybody gets hungry, and that's a problem. <clears throat> Okay, so <clears throat> let me see what do you remember about yesterday's class? What was the topic? <laughs> we are already on unit three. Session. Yeah, today is session seventeen. It, we're talking about warehouse. Yep. We were talking about a warehouse. Did you take the time to read some vocabulary from the dictionary? I still haven't read. I had the time. How's your job doing? <laughs> a little bit tough. This month is. Hmm pretty short yeah i felt today i felt so short my time was so short okay, okay. well let's start the class by taking the attendance and then we move on with the topic again we gotta we gotta, we gotta talk 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 okay ada susena caceres mendoza Present. Good evening. Good evening. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present. Good evening. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Heidi oh. Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Irene Susana Cuera Albanés. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Can you sound me better? José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. 
Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Yeah. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Very good. Luis Ernesto Romero Aguilar. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Aquí es. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present, teacher. Good evening. Excellent. Good evening. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Excellent. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Very good. Yeah. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Yeah. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. I was about to call you Alexandra. <laughs> Alexandra is a <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no. Hey, this prediction is becoming true. I'm gonna need glasses next year. Oh my god. No, no, no. I'm a healthy person. Uh, see, oh. I told you. No, <laughs> I don't want to. Okay. Welcome, guys. So, yes, yesterday we were talking about the warehouse. Mm. Talking about the warehouse. Have you ever managed inventory? Luis, I think you work with inventory, right? Yes, sure. teacher. I will be. How, how are they doing that now, nowadays? Because I, I worked with inventory in 2003, 2004. For two, three years I worked managing inventory, but back in the days it was everything, you know, paper, But uh, there is no uh, big changes. They basically did the same to make a, a physical inventory every month or quarter. Um, compared with the system information, if there is a difference to make the uh, compensations, or something like that. Um, yeah, it's almost the same. Maybe uh, a little more um, upgrade of technology with the, I forget the name, the, the barcode lecture. I don't, don't remember the, the I, portable. Yeah, the scanner. Uh -huh, yeah, the scanner. It's a pen, pen. Scanner. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's a, those are expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that uh, because uh, uh, I think this is a, a tool very for useful. management. Yeah, very useful because you, you know in the real time where the, the size of the, the product is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so technology has moved in that direction, uh, yeah. helping inventory. Okay. Yeah. Um, maybe with the forged, uh, forged um, industrial revolution, there is a need because uh, you need to, to, to have a system to, to have their um, information in the real time. Mention in real time, yes. I think that every company, thank you, thank you, Luis, that was very good. Um, I think that every company nowadays manages an inventory. Even if your company doesn't produce anything, you must have some sort of inventory. So I have two questions for you to open the class, actually. Uh, the first one is what inventories, let's see. Do you manage? Do you manage at work? I mean, not specifically you. So does your company? Manage. What inventories does your company manage? Think about it. <clears throat> Think about it and identify 
because there are many things you can uh, have under an inventory. It's not just production. Think about it um, regarding your company. And the second one, what are some famous merchants merchant line of business where you consider inventory is critical let me give you an example supermarkets supermarkets how do you think How do you think they do? How do they manage their inventory? <clears throat> so what are some famous merchant LOBs? Stands for line of business. Line of what? Line of business. Business. Mm -hmm. That's plural, LOBs, line of businesses, line of business. So. What are some famous merchant line of business where you consider inventory is critical? For example, supermarkets. Uh, in my opinion, I mean, I was I worked for Super Selectos like for six months, I think, or three months, I remember. And I used to see how how they managed their inventory, and it was crazy. And it was, ooh, and, and amazingly, you wouldn't believe. You wouldn't believe this, but it's a whole logistic internal process. It's a whole logistic internal process. But what is amazing about it is that, or what is outstanding about it is that it is managed just by a few people. Just a few people, like two or three or four maximum, are involved on the inventory, the internal inventory process. <coughs> It's not a whole bunch of people, you know, no. It comes from the provider. And I'll tell you the rest when we come back, okay? So <laughs> it's very interesting. So go with these two questions, three questions. How do you think they do it? How do you think they manage the inventory, these famous lines of business companies, merchants? Okay, think about it. Okay, I'm gonna split you just for a few minutes. And please, I want to see people talking, going crazy, oh my God arguing, discutiendo, arguing, okay, about this topic, and no, that's not the way they do it, yeah, that's the way they do it, come on, you can do it, guys. Alexander, let's go. Um, but in my case, I I have to do control uh, related to the documents, um, permissions, calibration, calibration, I guess, certificates. Uh, medical examinations of the drivers. Mm, I had to do regist register in almost all the platform of the company, uh, the available transports. Um, 
I see in the department of purchase, I guess. Um, they have a control about material or how do you say request? Responsible? Repuestos. Oh, oh, oh. refactions. Refactions about the transfers. Um, I see the, the person who is responsible, very, very busy um, about the inventory. What about you? Put your cell phone on vibration. In inventory about in uh, ink about um, another is um um open um. Adhesive. Uh, what else? Um, spark part. Creo que lo dije. I think I did. I think that that are the main. In, in my company, uh, they they do they do. Uh, inventory every month and two times in the year is a general inventory too. In my company, inventory tools, equipment, clothes, and even nails too. Uh, in my company, inventory all. Maybe. In, in my it's, company, we have inventories for everything. Yes, for everything. Okay, keep it up, keep it up. I, I wrote in the chat, uh, whip, that's the, the, the kind of inventory I, I told you. Work in process. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. You are mute teacher. I was looking at it. Was a chat not here? Okay. No. Okay. Wait. What's wait? Work in process. The product that has not finished. Yet. I know. I know. I know. Uh, in two thousand, two thousand liar. Four. In two thousand four. No, no, no. I didn't know that the term. You know the the acronym. But I know about product in progress because in two thousand four. I will never forget. I was uh, working as an auxiliary, an accounting auxiliary, and, and I was about to tell you this in the class that this happened. Um, we couldn't match. We couldn't work on the conciliation, you know, between the real inventory, the raw material. So there was something missing. There was something missing, and we couldn't find it. And the, the, the accountant, the accountant went crazy. I mean, come on, how is it possible that we are missing like $2,000 on the inventory? What What's going on here? And oh. I was like thinking about the process, right? Raw material and goes to the cutting table, you know, where they cut the, the, the cloth and it goes to the machines. And then I went, I went to the plant I was walking as I was thinking and, and I went to the plant and I looked underneath the sewing machines. I looked underneath the sewing machines. There was a lot of product pieces, you know, packages, unfinished. And we were doing the inventory and, and I yelled and I said, hey, we have a lot of product here on the production. Like what, what, what's going on here? How much is this? He was like, oh my. God, it's true. So that was a big wow. 
we, we never considered that until then. Is that really? new? Is that new, Luis? No. No. Right? no. no. So he didn't know. May, you, uh, I think you, you need to consider the three main uh, kind of inventory. Raw material, whip, and finishes material. Finished. Finished material. Finished. Finished, mm -hmm. finished product. The finished product. No. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow. Okay. Keep it up. Yeah. Okay. And you, Alex? Love. Where you consider inventory is critical. Uh, uh, most critical, maybe imperishable goods, right? Yeah. Imperishable mm -hmm. foods. I me, mean, the uh, inventory is more, more critical is the, the medicines. It's, it's very important. Mm -hmm. For me, the battery, okay? But I had a problem, a software, sorry. A software then give me information about how I have in a stock. Nice. Uh, no teacher, you make us nervous. <laughs> oh, come on, really? <laughs> no, just kidding. Hey, Irwin, did you cut your hair? Yes, uh, What the? <laughs> come on, why did you do that? I had, an accident. Uh, I, had, I, had, I had the accident. You had an accident? Oh, no. With the, with the haircut. Oh, my uh, God. But it's, but it's, it's normal. Don't I, cry. Don't cry. I know. <laughs> I've been um, there. I've been there. My <laughs> hair my hair was this long, you know, to over my shoulders. A little bit yeah. under my shoulders. Yeah. Uh, like, that was like... I don't know, uh, 10 years ago, 10 years ago, my hair was really long and I loved it, you know, but one day I went to cut my hair and I was thinking about donating my hair to kids with cancer, right? But they cut it in capas. So I was like, what the, I look like a woman. <laughs> oh no. So I said, ah, let's cut it. When I was a, a child, I had a long child. When I was oh. a child. When I was a young, for example, 20 years old, I have a long child. Long hair. Long hair. Yeah, long hair. But when I uh, began to work, I cut my hair. You cut it? You cut it. Oh, really? Yes. Because I, I use it so formal. Okay? I am a salesman, a manager, I formal. Yeah, but, it's just a it's just a cultural issue, I think. Yeah, but when the, when I began my business, I forget it. You forgot so, about it. I, I forgot about it. But on Monday, I visited the fatal the little fatal day. <laughs> oh, little uh... fatal day. But uh, this is a problem, but. Uh, one mistake, all the people can can do it. Everybody can make a mistake. Okay, yeah. totally. For me, we all make mistakes. Yeah. Good. I, I'm like I'm glad to hear that you took it that way. That's good. Yeah. Okay, we'll go back, and I'm gonna choose some of you so you can answer the questions. I think they're very interesting questions. Did you yeah. did you talk about it? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. 
Okay. Good guys. Let's move on. So I need a volunteer to answer the questions. I'm gonna just leave the space open. Please participate. Hello, hello. I'm not muted. Okay. Uh, Haiti, give me a number between one and ten. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. Okay. Caroline Yvette Romero Avelino. Yes. Please Hello. tell the class what inventories does your company manage? Mm, well, um, operation, the principal operation department uh, manage manage the documents, uh, calibrations, certificates, permissions about transportation. If we talk about drivers, um, um, their documents, um, uh, medical examinations, if we talk we are talk about budget, budget or purchase department. Uh, they manage manage um, replacement parts uh, about cars, about transportation. Um, I think uh, Titus. How do you say? How do you say jantas, tires? Tires, tires. Tires, tires. Um, um, and all about parts, um, about trucks. Mm. What else? Mm. Only the. Okay. They say the purchase, the purchase department, the purchase department. Purchase department. The principal operations department manages, Manage. manages, third person, medical examinations, and sounds better, medical evaluations. Uh, evaluations. Medical screening to health screening, health, health screening. Good job, okay. So what do you mean is that each department manages its inventory? Mm, oh, every department has uh, their own inventory. Their own inventory. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Give me a number between one and 15. Seven. Seven. Number seven, Irene Susana Cuella Albanese. Irene, hello. I think she's not there. Another number. 14. 14. Or 13. Yeah, 14, 13, 14. another number. Go with another number. Another number? Uh huh. Um, 11. 11, Judy Vladimir, is Judy here? Judy is not here anymore. Let me uh, see who's, who's closer to you. I'm just gonna choose the first person next to you. I have Haiti Eugenia. Same question. Okay. What kind of inventories, right? 
Uh huh. The same question. Okay. First question. Mm, what was it? I'm sorry. Uh, what inventories does your company manage? We have a lot of inventories, furniture and equipment, uh, inventory of, of cash, inventory of promissory notes, inventory of promissory notes. It's a pagare, right? Okay. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> Uh -huh. Inventory of any document that warranties on any operation, oh. like um, like mortgages. 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 Like there, uh, there are another kind of documents called mutuos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have an inventory of every document that warranties uh, any loan. I think, Luis. That we could call that whip. We can call that whip. Whip. <laughs> yeah, we were remembering with Luis about work in progress. Uh, we're going to talk to you about it for a few minutes. But interesting, interesting. A bank holds documents that could be, and correct me if I'm wrong, Heidi, but uh, this some of these documents could be converted into real money if the bank needs to, right? Right. So that could be. Uh, they, uh, how would you say that? Titulos valores? Uh, oh my God, you, you just talked the stock exchange right now. No, it's a lot of the stock exchange. Titulos valores. Um, these are stocks. stocks. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Stocks holding, stocks holding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a long topic. Yeah, mm -hmm. but the point is that in a company we were talking with Luis about how you produce, then you have the work in progress, and then you have the final product. So in accounting, you consider all of these factors. <laughs> I was telling Luis that in 2004, uh, I was an accounting auxiliary and the accountant, now I know that he didn't know what he was doing because we, we run the inventory, the annual inventory. And we were worried because we were missing $2,000 or so back in 2004. So he started, he started blaming the currency exchange. You know, the <laughs> currency exchange, still blaming the, the colones and dollars, you know, that conversion. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was like, no, no. there's gotta be something wrong here. So I started walking around the company. It's a manufacturing company. And um, I went to the warehouse. And then when I went to the production line, I, I, I look underneath, I looked underneath the, the sewing machines, you know, and I noticed that there were a lot of packages underneath the machines. So there were a lot of miss, uh, unfinished, unfinished products underneath the sewing machines because they didn't stop working. They couldn't stop working, right? But there was product in progress. <laughs> so Luis, Luis was talking about it. And I, I remember that term, work in progress. And that's money. Yeah, and how do you say depreciation? Depreciation? Depreciation. Mm -hmm. That's another thing. That's another thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, totally. So I love that topic. I mean, I never thought that I, I'm a, I'm a floating asset. I'm a floating asset for the bank because I have a mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, oh my God. Oh my God. Wow, that's a lot of money. Wow, okay, interesting. So I was waiting for someone to think about the paper inventory in your company. If you just have an office, you don't produce nothing, you know, paper in the end is an inventory. So yeah, many... we, we were talking about that. For example, we have inventory of, of contracts of all of the accounts. Hmm. And, and special kind of papers where we print for example, this kind of titles, right? This mm. kind of, of promissory notes. It is a special paper. Yeah, that's not notarized 
notarized paper, right? Papel notariado? No, no, I'm not talking about notarized. It's, uh, it, it has special security uh, medidas de seguridad. Like a just water, like, a watermark. Like, uh, like watermark, exactly. Wow. And they have a number, that kind of, of, of papers are controlled. Yes. Mm -hmm. We all have inventory in every branch. That's amazing. That kind of papers. Mm -hmm. Man, there's a lot of things that we ignore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's true. Okay. Uh, the, the kind next... of inventory also depends on the kind of business, right? Yeah, totally. Totally. That that's what I wanted you to look at upon, you know, uh, realize that it's not just producing a product, it's everything that surrounds you in the company means valuable uh, items. You were talking about the um, the fixed assets. Yeah, the fixed assets, the passive assets in the Spanish, the fixed assets that, that are in your inventory should be considered on your balance sheet. Okay, um, let me see who's next to, okay, Josue Alberto Salas, very intense. Next question goes for you. Um, what are some famous merchants, merchant line of businesses where you consider inventory is critical? And how do you think they, they do their inventories? Well, uh, on perishable product, I guess, um, I think they manage that kind of product using a software because it's, it's difficult to manage using uh, traditional forms. In your, in your traditional pants. inventory, yeah. <laughs> True. Okay. Uh, I, I think that kind of company use a software, a special ICE software. Do you think they have reached that level of technology? Like, for example, uh, La Bonita? <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's like with the computer, yeah, I, I think they can that's do a, that's like a very software interesting for inventory. Topic. How do they transport the, the bananas, you know, the bananas? Do they cut them when they are still green? And then when, yeah. they're, when they're ready, they, they go uh, ripen, they go ripen on the, on the road, you know. And when they reach the supermarket, they are yellow already. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Okay. Someone else? Let me see. Sandra? Where are you, Sandra? What do you think? What's a famous uh, company that you think, oh my God, this guy's inventory must be crazy? Is the complicated the, the, <laughs> the inventory in critical? In my case, is the more critical product is medicines. Is a uh, medicines is a uh, frequently the com. Esperando uh, una yeah, okay. Uh, Con garrote. Uh, Jose Alberto, <laughs> your microphone. <laughs> 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 oh my God, Google is here. I didn't Sorry, see teacher. I was in, in Sorry, office. teacher. Okay. I I still have a problem with my internet. <laughs> It's okay, don't worry. Thank you, Alberto. I'm sorry, Ada, keep going. It's complicated because the weekly reports is, is uh, I seen the cons, the cons uh, every day is a report in, in weekly for, um, for the depends the, the need in, is a uh, pedidos? How do you say pedidos? Um, an order. Uh, is an order a, a, uh, once a month. Once a month, it, you have to make yes, an order. It's very, it's very complicated uh, for the. Siempre hay. <laughs> there is always <laughs> stealing. There's stealing. always stealing. Frequently. But, but you are you're in a, a private clinic right 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> and that still happens on the private clinic. Oh my God. The future, yes. Again, that's culture. Thank you, Arita. Thank you. Yeah, I think you have to consider the expiration date of medications as well, right? That's another thing. Okay, Sandrita, please tell us what do you think? What some um, merchant, some business that you consider impressive? You know how they that you always wonder? You know how these guys do like price mark? How do they do their inventories? I mean. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Any issue? Okay, so let's move on. Um, good. Let's move on with your book uh, before we start the next section. On your book, uh, we were missing just one part yesterday. I'm not sure if we actually completed it. So. Were you able to, oh, I told you, right? You should do it. Were you able to identify what these terms mean? Holding warehouse, distribution center, and cross docking center? Let's just do it together. What do you think is a holding warehouse? Let's see. The first one says it can be named a terminal or sorting, look, sorting center. The focus is only on receiving and shipping activities with little to no storage. Okay. Traditional warehouse whose space, listen, whose space is used for temporal and long-term storage. That's a traditional warehouse. It serves, and number three, it serves large regions. It serves large regions and goods are stored shorter, again, shorter time. Must of it is used for picking and consolidation orders. Most of it is used for picking and consolidation orders. Picking and consolidating orders, maybe? Okay. Most of it is used, most of it, most of it, most of it is used for picking and consolidation orders. So which one is holding warehouse? Number two. Number two, traditional yeah. warehouse whose, whose space, space is used for temporal and long-term storage. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> hey, you say whose storage? I'm sorry, whose space? Whose space? Whose space? Whose space is used? Whose space is used? Yes. Actually, that is, you can join it as well. Whose space is used? The space used, that sounds weird, but that's the way an American will say it. The space used for temporal and long-term storage, long-term long -term storage. Okay, what do you think, guys? Is that holding warehouse? Luis, what do you think? Yes, I guess I was thinking about yeah, and that, that makes sense because it cannot be a distribution center. Traditional warehouse couldn't be a distribution center. That doesn't make sense. Cross docking center as well. Okay, 
So yeah, I agree with Suleyma that holding warehouse is traditional warehouse. Okay, what is a distribution center? The third one? No. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Hmm. It serves larger regions and goods are stored shorter, shorter time. time. Most what? of it is used for picking and consolidation orders. Perfect. Who's reading? <laughs> Suleim, okay. Good. Nice reading. Yeah. Hmm. Let me compare. It can be named a terminal or sorting center. The focus, yeah, totally, totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because as Luis was explaining last time, the docking, docking in transportation, remember? It can be named a terminal or a sorting center. The focus, by the way, you don't say focus, they focus, 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 focus. Okay, the focus is only on receiving and shipping activities with little to no storage. So we agree? Yeah? That makes yes. sense. That makes sense. Okay, let's keep going with your book. Later, I'm gonna have you presenting something tomorrow, describing the type of warehouse service that you will need uh, to match business strategy, not of your company, but other companies, I'll prepare something for you. So you can kind of think about how they work. Okay, so in this module, in this section, we have to identify and provide suggestions to common issues related to warehouse processes. Warehouse processes, like the one that we were talking about. What are some problems that may affect <laughs> warehouse providers? What are some problems that may affect warehouse providers? How do you identify and prevent possible issues? Okay, let's talk about Selectos. Let's talk about the uh, When I worked there at uh, their uh, San Luis, you know, San Luis, a long, long time ago, there was just Don Carlos, just one guy receiving the merchandise. There, there is, up until today, there is a huge line of providers on the back of the supermarket. I mean, it's a long line of providers waiting for their turn to, to deliver their product. And only Don Carlos you know, receiving the product. Have you ever wondered how they deliver meat for the super selectos, you know, for the supermarkets. Have you ever seen how they deliver the meat? No? Well, let me talk to you about Juanito. Juanito is a guy who is over two meters tall. It's really big, okay? He's really chubby, really strong. So Juanito goes on the truck and before going to the truck, I'm sorry, he goes into the scale. He goes on a scale and he waits, he waits himself. Don Carlos used to check, okay, 300 pounds. Okay, so right now you weigh 300 pounds, Juanito. Okay, bring me, bring me a, a beef, right? Bring me the meat. So Juanito used to go inside the, the truck, grab a meat, okay, grab a cow, basically, just grab a cow. And he used to go walking with the cow on his back to the scale. Okay, let's see, Juanito. 300, I'm sorry, 600 pounds. So you bring me there 300 pounds. Okay, take it to the fridge. Okay, so he used to go to the fridge, hang, listen, hang the meat on the fridge and then go back for another meat. And that way the process kept going. Now, here's, this, here's our part, you know, what, what matters for us. There's a fridge with a lot of cows. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say naked cows. <laughs> naked cows on the fridge. And so after that, there comes a technician from Super Selectos just counting 
how many pounds of meat they received during that day. He used to go to the computer and start putting everything into the inventory, the digital inventory. I'm talking about 2000, 2002, 2002. It's a long time ago, my God, 19 years ago. That's the way they used to do it back then. Now, how many people were involved? How many people were involved in that process? People, not the cow. <laughs> how many people were involved in the process? Two or three? Just three, right? Just three. Yeah. I mean, Don Carlos, Juanito, and the technician. You got it. What are problems that may affect uh, the warehouse providers? We're not talking about them, the people who manage the warehouse. Hmm. Think about the example. Was that an effective or efficient method? I don't know. Really? Luis, not really. What could be improved? Maybe the capture of the information. Capturing information. With a system, yes, because you need to write and they go to the computer and and write in the system. Mm -hmm. How would you do it? Uh, maybe put um, or use a, how do you say bascula in English? Scale. A scale uh, with uh, connected to the computer directly. Oh, uh -huh. but there's a problem. Hmm. You need a big scale. Then Juanito used to, you know, you heard, right? Juanito goes mm -hmm. on the scale by himself, no nothing. Even without shoes, sometimes just step on the scale, measure himself, then step on the scale again with the meat. That was a little bit effective, I would say, but because you have to consider, um, how can we, the, the cleanliness, the cleanliness of the product. So a problem in this sense, okay, one of the problems could have been that Juanito fall. If Juanito fails with the meat, oh man, goodbye meat. Goodbye Juanito because, you know, or Juanito has an accident, my God, or the waiting period. Right now, that's a problem with Super Selectus. I, I have heard of providers at the warehouse waiting the whole day, the whole day just to deliver their product. Oh my God. Can you imagine staying there, sitting, just waiting? My God, that's a lot of waiting period. Okay. So how do you identify and prevent possible issues? Think about it. Let's prevent, okay. Let's change the mechanism. I need you guys to start thinking on something that we love in engineering. In engineering, Katie, I think she knows about it. Suleyma may know about it. Everybody knows about it. It's called re-engineering. The process re-engineering, I mean, it's, it's amazing. You have to think out of the box. Think out of the box. How can you improve things? There's always ways of improving things, right? Yep. So think out of the box right now. What are some problems that may affect warehouse providers? Not the warehouse administrators, but the providers, the ones that bring the products to the warehouse. And how do you identify and prevent possible issues? Just five minutes and we come back because we have to do the attendance, it's almost nine. Okay, there you have the questions. Just one more time, let's go.
or something like not happening that will happen. Hello. Hello, Tulane. Okay. What do you think Ada, about uh, the questions? What are some where problems are that may affect warehouse providers? Uh, I think uh, the lab or stop production and uh, low the sales. Ventas, ¿verdad? Sales. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Correct. Um, Increase in the prices of the raw material, maybe. Mm -hmm. Traveling uh, with the container the transportation, the product, the product, mm -hmm. maybe. Yes, transportation. Um, the problem that pet warehouse providers. Um, the offer yeah. and demand. Uh, the offer and demand. Yes. Demand. 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 The offer and demand. demand. Mm -hmm. Maybe don't have enough personnel. Fall. Fall. Mm. It's low or fall. Disminución en las ventas. Decrease. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how, how did you identify and prevent possible issues? Identify prevent issues. There are warehouses, but sometimes the providers are very busy and they give me more days for, for the delivery. But at the moment, I... No me he quedado, how do you say? I can't. No me he quedado. Hmm? I haven't stayed. I haven't stayed with, without products in oh, the oh, oh. I shirt. I have run out of products. I yeah. haven't what? Quedarse sin. Run out of. Run, run out of. Run out. Oh. Run out of. Run out of. Run out of. Oh, run out of. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. To run out of something, run out of one. Had you run out of your aguinaldo? <laughs> <laughs> no, right. No, no. We, they haven't paid it. Okay. Yeah. But you haven't run out of inventory of what? No, no, at the moment not, but nearly. Okay. Okay. But you was talking about the label, the, the marchamo. Yes, for uh -huh. they 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 use for gasoline mm -hmm. for trucks. You were talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just that yeah. we said you were. <laughs> You were you were talking about label. Uh -huh. Okay. 
The pronunciation is Ranaura. Ranaura. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And remember, guys, on phrasal verbs, the verb is affected by the grammar tense. So if it is past, it should be ran out of, ran out of. Um, the verb change. I ran out of money. I ran well. out of. I run out of. Of. Run. Of. Oh. Of. 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 There you go. Oh, run okay. Out run out of. Perfect. Got it. Keep going. Okay. Okay. And hey, in your company in in the van, do you have a warehouse? Yes, we do. We do. We and have uh, we have a records warehouse, and we have a um, uh, a company that that saves records too. Ya se me olvidó y lo acabamos de ver. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Cómo son contratados? Outsourcing. Outsourcing. Outsourcing services. Uh -huh. Like Ransa, to save records, but we have warehouse where we save um, records, um, furniture that we don't use anymore. And stuff like that. Big wins. Big, big, big wins. In documents about credit and something like that. Yeah, but those are in, in box, in bovetas. Uh -huh. uh, as soon as, as the loan finishes, they uh, we save them like records. Uh -huh. but, but if the credit is alive, we save it in box. because it has a special value, right? It's a warranty. Uh -huh. But I, I think that there are common, common, there are common inventories in the companies, right? There must be common inventories. For example, furnitures inventory, we all have, right? Mm -hmm. Records inventory, we all must have, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're talking about fixed assets. And that's why mm -hmm. you were wondering about depreciation. Mm -hmm. That's an inventory. I wonder if any company has ever reached the zero, you know, the zero yes, value. Yes, I have seen. Yes, no, they, they cannot reach zero value. For example, I have seen uh, at the back and they, they, uh, they uh, assign value $1. Wow. Yes, because they cannot be zero. I guess they can't. Uh -huh. So they assign it $1. And, and for example, we, what we do is that when they reach the, the price of $1, they sell them. Oh, that was about to ask you that, but they don't sell uh -huh. them for a dollar. I mean, they... No, but they don't sell it. Uh, there, not there's, expensive. There's not, a, there's not a regulation for no. that, right? Sometimes they tell us, hey, special sale. They oh. sell computers. Oh my um, God! Tell me whenever chair. that happens. Talk to really? Me. Call me. Uh -huh. Chairs. <laughs> oh my God. Credenzas, archiveros, a really, lot of stuff. Really? They no, tell lot really. Of stuff have, yeah, Call because, me. Call me. Yeah. When passes, when time passes by, uh, the depreciation every year, you know. Every year comes lower, lower until it gets one dollar. When it gets like that, it reaches pues, one dollar. Yeah, the bank can do that. Sacarlo, para sacarlo del inventario, yeah. they sell it. Take it to remove it out of the inventory. That totally makes sense. Okay, let's go.
Okay, just 19 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, here we go. Let me do the attendance one last time, one second time. Okay, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Carolina Ivette Romero Delino. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Sorry. Present teacher, sorry. Okay. Present teacher. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. Hey, José Antonio Cubías Hernández. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Yo. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Yeah. Okay. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Yeah. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Excellent. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. I see you. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Sabal. Bien, chicos. Thank you. Quiero hacer un paréntesis. Eh, ahorita solo veo a la mitad de la clase con la cámara encendida, la mayorista con la cámara apagada. Eh, y pues es requisito, acuérdense. Y número dos, es, se me ha encargado la tarea de estarles recordando. Really, you win. <laughs> ok, English at least. Come on. Ok. Se me ha encargado la tarea de estarles recordando toda esta semana que eh, tienen hasta el viernes para enviar su documentación para la inscripción del módulo 5. So, please. Ahí están presionando a recursos humanos ¿verdad? para que les, den, eh, les envíen la documentación o se la den y ustedes la llevan. Creo, creo que rara vez hacen eso. Ok. So, really quick. Um, can somebody give me a brief answer? What are some problems that may affect warehouse providers? Mm -hmm. uh, avoid uh, dam product damage. Product damaged product damaged product. Damaged okay. product. Yeah. How uh, do you say? take advantage of the space of the warehouse uh, properly? Capacity, isn't it? Yeah, the capacity of the warehouse. They need to take advantage. Repeat, per advantage. Advantage. Touch. Advantage. A little bit softer. Un poco fresa. Advantage. You see, you got it. Very good, thank you. Advantage. <laughs> yeah, really, it works advantage of this space you know what that is true because mm. i mean if you if you have never seen one of these huge warehouses of super selectos or any supermarket man they're enormous they're really big it, it's amazing i don't know if there are uh, other maybe to the uh Inventory adjust, or how, I don't know how do you say, uh, ajuste de inventario, cuando se hace un ajuste, yes, por revolución yes. o por, por algo así. That's the funny part. There was just one shelf. I mean, actually, not the whole shelf, because the shelves of the warehouse 
reach the roof, you know, these warehouses have um, shelves from the bottom, you know, from the floor to the roof. So just one space of the shelves were was dedicated for for hmm, not devolutions. I can't remember that word. Returns for product Thomas. returns for damages, you know. They used to have just one space for those products that were damaged or during the reception of the product or whatever you know, they were expired. These to help help this product. So maybe to the uh, how to categorize the products in the in the Wait, space. gentlemen, you're using two in the middle of a sentence. Sorry. Two two goes at the end. How categorize? Maybe the... also. Her, maybe also. Maybe also. Okay. Maybe mm -hmm. also how to categorize the products in, in the warehouse. It's a big problem because you have to, to uh, how do you say, locate your products in the <laughs> or classifier by. Yes. Uh, you just ring the bell. Thank you, Fer. Fernando has just land our next topic. We're going to watch a video. Woo, a video. It's not boring. It's not boring. I swear. <laughs> and it's very short. I, it's just three minutes. Okay. Yes, I, I try to. I don't know. I in, in, in the university and the college because my career, I I have to study a lot in uh, virtual classes. Uh, yes, with uh, I have to to learn a, a lot with inventory because I have to to. <laughs> To learn how uh, a system of that kind works, so I mm. have to, to manage inventories. How it works. So you're gonna. I know that Luis, Heidi, Fernando, you're gonna love this topic. Uh, Caroline, Irwin, everybody is going to love this video. It's amazing how they are managing inventory nowadays. What what we were talking about, Luis? How do they do? How how does a uh, technology has changed, has revolutioned the the inventory. So let's watch the video. Let's just stay here, okay, in silence. I'm just gonna wait for you. It's just about three or let me see. It's just three minutes. So go ahead, take notes of new vocabulary. There's a lot of vocabulary related to this. Go ahead, guys. Yes, the video is in your WhatsApp.
Okay. Let me know whenever you're ready. Okay, I think we're ready. Not yet. Ready? In my case, yes, I am I'm ready. Oh my God, I'm just having a huge day over here. And this is a deja vu over another deja vu. Wow, I hate that. Does that ever happen to you that you have deja vu? An, yes. error, an error on the matrix? <laughs> and, yeah, and it was just yeah. right when I, I am talking. Just when you talk, I, I just... Uh, weird. I okay. have problem with my internet to share too. I have 15 days more or less with the problems. <laughs> Why are they taking so long? Because it's a, it's a failure in the in the zone. It's all the area. The area. Oh, it's the zone. It's a problem. Yes. So, okay. Okay. Let's talk about the video. Did you like it? Yes. It's interesting, right? Okay. What's Any the resource? Mm -hmm. Any resource to to use in the in a warehouse? Resources. Many resources, yes. A lot of resources. It's just that there are many things you have to consider when storing when storing products, right? Right, right, right. Okay you have to consider where and how and for how long. <laughs> where are you going to store the package, the size of the package? Hmm. How, how are you going to package it? You know, what kind of packaging are you going to use? And lastly, how long? Is it a perishable? item even if it is not hmm, is it some sort of equipment that could be damaged by time like a printer for example a toner pin a, a toner printer i think toners expire right for the toners mm -hmm. 
Yes, if, yes, uh, that is that is a uh, many years. Maybe I I I don't be sure what I'm how not, many years how many years. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, they do expire. I mean, and so on, right? So many, or even paper expires, right? Does it? It turns yellow. Okay, go ahead. Shoot me. What new words did you find? Come on, show me what you got, Victoria's Secrets. <laughs> it's show me what you got, Victoria. Come on. I'm sorry, I'm mistaking this. Show me your secrets, Victoria. Let's see, short, storage, sort, I mean, shortages, 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 outages, hmm. shortages. There's a difference. Outage, you run out of power, you run out of electricity. Shortage, shortage in electricity means that there is a corto or some period of time, a short period of time, shortages. Now, sort, shortage, I cannot even pronounce that word. What's wrong with me? Shortage, shortage. Hmm. Shortage, shortage, shortage. Shortage, 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 shortages, shortages. That's what you have to do. If you cannot pronounce one word, listen to it and repeat, repeat, repeat until you get it. Shortages. Okay. That means just something that you run out of product. So let me give you an example. Okay. My wife, my wife is going crazy right now because supermarkets are on high season. There's high demand of products right now. So, and she's getting, I mean, too many orders. She's getting too many orders and they cannot supply the whole group of orders, you know? So there might be a shortage of product, a shortage of orders, you know, they may not okay. be able to fulfill to fulfill all of the orders. That's the shortage. Buzz, buzz. The verb by itself means what the bees do. The bee, buzz. Buzzinga, no, no, no. What is that? Flies, bees. Your cell phone. Vibration. Vibration is some sort of vibration. But bees, you know the little the little insect, yellow and black. <laughs> so what is it in Spanish? Mm. It's a way of dance as well. It's a way of dancing. To do exercise. Come on, what's the word? Zoom, you. Zumba. Not Zumba the those Fridays right now. No, no. <laughs> Zumba. Okay. Come on, guys, laugh. Another What's meaning is whisper. Whisper. Uh, uh, yeah. Buzz. Uh, never use it that yeah, way. It's but, like. Cuchicheo. Yeah. Cuchicheo. <gasps> Hmm, like Kung Fu Panda, Kuchicha mm -hmm. Okay, good, I got it. Thank you, thank you very much. Let's see, a lot of buzz, a lot of buzz. Okay, I was on buzz. Stock shortages, which said pinpoint. Have you noticed when, when you go with a laser and you're very specific aiming to your target, that's the pinpoint. And you can use it on a speech. Let me pinpoint, let me pinpoint this topic. Let me pinpoint that thought, you know. In other words, be specific. Let me pinpoint this argument. I have to be very specific, very specific. Decrease, shrink. Okay, decrease and shrink when you wash your shirt, for example and it shrinks, right, that's, that's shrink, okay? When something 
goes smaller. Got it? So to decrease the shrink of inventory mm, is not to run out of product. Decrease the shrink. There's always it's a shrink. like low, low inventory. Uh-huh. So, uh, yes, exactly. It's a synonym, let's say, in this context of not reducing your inventory to the minimum. Shrinking. Yep. Decrease shrink. Very good. Currently, currently, nowadays, as of now, for now, such. Hmm. So, such is a synonym of so, such a bad news. It's such a bad news. Mm. And it goes along with that article, such a great day. We're having such a great day. We're having such a great class, a great and amazing, such an amazing. Ada is such an amazing doctor. Okay. It's a quantifier. A lot of buzz, yeah, we said a lot of noise. Forecast demand. In call center industry, forecast is a synonym of foresee. Foresee. What is the, what is the meaning of foresee? Exactly, prever. Guys, are you are you with me? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So forecast is a synonym a synonym of foresee. So if you forecast the demand, it's like you're uh, preventing, you know, visualizing how much product you will need for the next selling period. And that's the next topic on unit four. We're gonna talk specifically about inventory. And one of the functions of the inventory management is to determine uh, the cost of sales, you know, how, how to determine to foresee your next sales period, depending on the fluctuation of your inventory, your inventory rotates, you know, and all that, we're gonna talk about it on unit four. Uh, and last pinpoint, as we said, right, be specific. Good job, good job, good job. Okay, let's move it. We still missing two topics. One is a conversation. Okay, I'm just gonna read it for you as usual. And then we're gonna jump into the grammar of this small conversation. Okay. Okay, thank you. William, stop crying. Okay, let's go. Daniel, I'm going over some purchase. I'm sorry, Daniel, I'm going over some purchase orders but the products received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Oh, I bet it happened. I bet it happened during the day. The system received maintenance. The system received maintenance. And that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time, we have said on time. We have a copy of with the correct numbers. Okay, please correct. We have a copy of it with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we overpaid for three incomplete orders. We overpaid for three incomplete orders. I will send the documents, documents to your department by five. So you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Okay, that's it. Volunteers.
Me even. Me even with who? Wendy. Yeah, with me, Wendy. Okay, me even with me, Wendy. One, two, three, action. Daniel, I'm going over some purchase orders, but the products received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Oh, I beat it happened during days the system received maintenance. And that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of what off with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the, um, the wrong cost. As, re as a result, we overpay for three incomplete orders. I will send the document to your department by five. So you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Okay, good job. So you say reimbursement. Re reimbursement. 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 I bet it happened. Okay, I bet it happened. Very good. Remember, when the when the subject is when when it is a subject, then you say it. When it is a pronoun, you say it. I bet it. Perfect. I bet it happened. Repeat. I bet it happened. I bet it happened. During the days. During the days. The system received. The system received maintenance. Maintenance. Yeah. Forget about the t t maintenance. Maintenance. Yeah. Maintenance. 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 There you go. Maintenance. Okay. Writing. Writing. Write information. Write information. Write information. Yeah. Sule. Mm -hmm. The information. The information. B. Remember the article is B. B. Before, before a vowel is B. Before a B. consonant is B. the. the. Mm -hmm. Okay. In this connector that we're about to talk about, we're, we're about to talk about these connectors as a result. As a result. As a result. Re result. As a re result. There you go. As a result, we overpaid the three complete orders. Repeat. As a result, we overpaid for three incomplete orders. And yes, again, it's reimbursement. 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 Got it. You're amazing. You're amazing. Just the way you are. Something like Bruno Mars, right? Okay. Who's next? Yes, Thank you, William. Uh, me, Fernando. Me, Fernando, with me, William. One, two, three, action. Start with you. Okay. Daniel, I'm going over some purchase orders, but the products received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Oh, I bet it happened during the, day, the days the system received maintenance and that's why your department didn't receive the right information time. We have a copy of with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The, the information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we overpaid for three incomplete orders. I will send the documents to your department by five, so you can contact 
the company and ask for a reimbursement. And so, again, the article, the article, the, before a vowel sounds like the, the orders. The, the, orders. the orders. Yeah, the orders. Okay, finance, finance. Finance. The finance department, department. Determined, determined. 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 So the finance department determined the ground cost as a result of reimbursement. 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 Got it? Questions? New words? Reimbursement. Okay. Heidi knows about it. Reimbursement is a synonym of refund. Ah, yeah. refund. Okay. And bet? Bet is what you do at a casino. Perfect. <laughs> mm -hmm. What else? Really quick, what's the grammar tense? That, this has happened three times already. Perfect. Present perfect. Got it. Okay. Anything else? No? Okay. Yeah, I know you know the rest of the words. So really quick. Read the conversation again and complete the sentences. Really quick. I bet it happened during this during the days the system received maintenance. Hmm. What follows this sentence? That's great. That's, that's why. why. That's why. That's why. Oh, yeah. and I was thinking about therefore. I'm sorry. Yeah, that makes sense. That's why. Therefore. Hmm. Hmm. Same thing. Let's see. Your department didn't receive the right information in time. Hey, by the way, I will say on time. On time. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. it sounds weird. In time. No. On time. On time. And there's a missing word here, by the way. You're missing the object. We have a copy of, of what? We have a copy of it. Repeat, we have a copy of it. Okay. Yeah, the IT is missing. We have a copy of it. Okay, next. William, the information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result? Okay. As a result, we overpay the three incomplete orders. So what is that? What is as a result? Okay. What is as a consequence? What is consequently? What is uh, therefore? Okay. What's that? Can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay. I send you yes. this to your WhatsApp. But like five years ago, I had nothing to do during my lunch hour. I was crazy. I was, you know, to do anything during my lunch hour. So I thought there's one thing that these guys are failing, you know, on. So I thought I should, I thought I should do something about it. These are called what? How do you call these guys? Breaches. Connectors, exactly. Yes, these are connectors. You, you can call them, uh, oh my God, how do we call this thing? Conjunctions. Some features, some fancy features called in conjunctions. You will find them on the Real Academy of Oxford as conjunctions. It's just connectors, you know. Same in Spanish. You use them to connect your ideas. You have connectors of addition, comparison, contrast. Okay, just read and study this chart. It's really good. You have comparisons of time, 
But today, well, let's go on. Result, summary, example, and place. Which ones are we using today? As a result. Yeah, but what, what is it? Is it summary, example, thank you, place? <laughs> what is it? What is the category for the connectors that you heard? I don't know. Okay, so we're talking about result. Result connectors, result conjunctions. Look, hence, okay, therefore, accordingly, consequently, and now this is part therefore. of this is part of archaic English. You know what is archaic English? No, okay, it's dead English. English that in theory, nobody uses anymore. Thus, thus. It's, it's like when you said, I remember when I, I asked you for the word show, show we. Show. Uh, show we, show we. Show we, yeah. Show is part of the dead words, you know, it's part of the archaic English. Iron Maiden uses this, hello by the name. In some countries, uh, very northern, northern countries, um, they kind of use archaic English still. In, in Ireland, Ireland, Scotland, they still use this, these words, uh, British, some British too, before, the, the was the, <laughs> for example. Okay. Uh, what else? I don't know. And so on. That's the only one I can remember. And what Fernando was saying, shall was replaced by will, for example. Just to give you an idea. Okay. The, hello by the name, the name. Will and thus does can be has been replaced or is more is less used. That's the point. It's less used. So thereupon, thereupon, as a result, as you saw in the book, in consequence, so which is very common, then now we're talking about the result of an action. This is a very simple topic. So, help me really, please. Can somebody help me with it? I can feel my throat anymore. It's too dry. Just one. Thank you, Irene. Okay. Transmission helps connect ideas. In this case, these transitions connect a result to the action that causes it. Good, cost it. Yeah, to the action that caused it. Continue, Jocelyn. Okay. When the transition is positioned between two clauses, punctuation can be as follows. Wait, stop one minute for a minute. Positioned. Positioned. Mm -hmm. the, the okay. Position. Okay, keep, keep the, going. The level information was wrong. Was wrong. As a consequence, the package were put in the incorrect bin. Repeat. Packages. Package. Packages. 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 Yes. Okay. Like yes. Like yes. Yeah, like yes. Packages. Okay. Packages. There you go. Packages. You got it. Packages. 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 Now repeat twenty times. Packages. 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 You can get it. Okay. So let's think about it. Label information was wrong. As a consequence, the packages were put in the incorrect beans. <gasps> Okay, just picture it, just picture it. 
Solo imagínatelo. Just picture it. Incorrect labels. We send the products to the wrong boxes. We send the merchandise to the wrong customer. Oh my God. Okay. Pretty cool. Continue. Irwin. Thank you, Jocelyn. Thank you. Irwin. Okay. You're welcome. Hi, Tisha. Okay. The products were not provided packaged as a result. We are the damage. One more time. The products, the products were not, not properly. The product were not properly packaged as a result. They were damaged. Okay, repeat. Packaged. Packaged. Now look at me. Packaged. 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 Damaged. 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 Esta es la segunda regla de los ED endings. Les recomiendo a todos eh, investigar y estudiar los ED endings. Verbos eh, comunes terminados en ED. Verbos regulares, perdón, terminados en ED en el pasado simple. Okay, esa es la segunda regla de pronunciación. Voy a grabar un video con eso, ¿verdad? Se lo voy a subir a WhatsApp. Porque sí, es, es, es bien importante no perder de vista esto. Los tres pronunciaciones de ED. Okay, packaged, damaged. Okay, thank you. Uh, oh, look at this. Missed. Missed. Esa es la primera regla. Missed. We will see it. Okay, next. Continue, Irwin. The vendors miss the delivery date. Consequently, the retail asks for the reimbursement. For a reimbursement. For a reimbursement. Uh -huh. Retailer. 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 And last one. Let me see what's not happening here. So why? Adita, could you please read the last two? The microphone. We didn't know there were dangerous chemicals in the shipment. As a result, some workers had to go to the hospital. Excellent. Repeat chemicals. Ke -mi chemicals. Uh, you say K. K. Chemicals. 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 Yes. E, there, there were no worker safety with lines. There, therefore, we trained the staff in safety procedures. Good job. We need guidelines. Guidelines. One more time. Guide. Guidelines. Perfect. Guidelines. Okay. And again, trained. The trained. We trained the staff in safety procedures. Procedures. We trained the staff in safety procedures. Procedures. Jurors. You got it. Okay, guys. Okay. And as a last um, activity tonight, let's take a look at this really quick. Okay, apply the corresponding punctuation, compare your answers with a partner. So it didn't mention that, but when transitions, look at the, the punctuation and follow me. And it says, <clears throat> the label information was wrong. As a consequence, the packages were put in the incorrect bin. See, there's a pause. Remember, a period is a long pause. Comma is a shorter pause. The products were not properly packaged. As a result, they were damaged. Again, the vendors missed the delivery date. Consequently, the retailer asked for reimbursement. Next, we didn't know there were dangerous chemicals in the shipment. As a result, some workers had to go to the hospital. 
there were no worker safety guidelines. Therefore, we trained the staff in safety procedures. Okay, so where should we put a, a dot or a semicolon or a comma? This is your page. We remove items for, for cartoons. After packages. There is a comma. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. We removed items from cartoons and packages. Here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Here? Yes. Uh, yes, there. Okay. Sorry. I'll try to do it. Um, so, what, what is it? A comma or a period? Comma. Uh, comma. Period? I think, I think it's a period, guys. What is the connector? That's the point. Oh, well, actually it's not in capital. Mm, let's look at mm -hmm. it as a result, as a result. Look at this. As a result. You make a pause. So this is the idea. You finish your first idea, your first thought. thought. We removed items from cartoons and packages, period. As a result, Oma. Pickers are not able to find them when they need to. Okay, next. The vendor is shipping multiple items in a single box. Consequently, we have to waste time to open the box, count the items and rebox them. <laughs> Where, where's the period or the Please. comma? Box, after, after box. box. After box, what is it, a comma or a period? Period and comma. Period and comma? Oh, okay. Yeah. Totally agree with you. Okay. Good. You see, you really need these periods and commas, you know. The warehouse doesn't have enough dogs, therefore we have to pr put products in this. Uh, what? The warehouse doesn't have enough dogs, therefore we have to put products in the aisles. Aisles. Mm -hmm. After dogs. After quark quark. Okay, after dogs. What? A period of, or a comma? Period. Period. So we will continue with the same period and a comma. We will check this right now. Okay, we have, and again, the warehouse doesn't have enough dogs. Therefore, we have to put products in the aisles. Okay, and last, the conveyor belt broke as a consequence. There is not enough staff to put arriving packages away. Mm -hmm. After broke. The conveyor belt broke as a consequence. Okay, there's not enough, not enough, not enough. There's not enough, not enough staff. Oh my God. There's not enough staff. There's not enough staff. I hope you watch this video again. There's not enough time. I'm sorry. There's not enough staff. There's not enough staff. There's not enough staff. Not enough staff. To put arriving, to put arriving packages away. Okay. Good. Let's go, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Please check this video again. As a homework, I want you to check the answers on the video and determine if I was right, if we were right or wrong based on these examples, okay? Punctuation. By the way, tonight, who stood with me last night? Johnny, right? He said, be good, Johnny. Johnny. Uh, Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta again? Yeah. Hmm. It's just that I had to do a different round. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso is not with us today. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza, if you may, please. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Ten minutes. Thank you very much. I'm going to do the attendance, guys, so I can let you go go to sleep. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Yes, Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present, good night. Good night. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. Bye. Bye. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present, good night.
Night, Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present, good night. Good night. Irene Susana Cuero Albanesh. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. Yo. Josué Antonio Cubías Hernández. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. There. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Alberto Luis Madrigana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good night. Good night. Leima Ivón Moreno Hernández. Present. Good night. Good night. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. And Jocelyn Melda Rivas Arca. Okay. Present. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, hello, hello, Doc, again. Hello, Tito. No se aburre de mí. No. Hey, felicidades. Súper bien hoy intentando hablarme y llega. Eso es lo que tenemos que hacer. Realmente son, son eh, como le decía yo la vez pasada, temas así como algo áridos para mí, ¿verdad? En todo lo que es eh, cuestión de producción, marketing. Y hasta me estaba pensando meter a clases con ustedes en marketing, pero eh, hay un, interfiere en los horarios. Tienen de lunes a jueves, de 8 a 9 y de 9 a 10. Entonces me decía Jimmy uh -huh. que tomara el inglés intensivo una hora y que me quedara la otra hora con marketing. Y le, y, pero me dice, pero se va a... O sea, nosotros lo queremos en ese grupo, me dice. Yo creo que ya se... Eh, como que se acomodó a ese grupo, eh, usted está bien ahí, y sabemos que hace todos sus esfuerzos posibles para, para estar para estar presente, ¿verdad? Y, eh, o sea, pero me decía él que me va a averiguar si hay un cupo por el mediodía, más o menos, uh -huh. eh, o sea, una, porque me decía que marketing y Excel está un poquito más corto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí. Que lo, lo intensivo como que el inglés, ¿verdad? Pero lo no, demás... No, no, sí, pero, pero sí es de que mi esposa acaba de agarrar el inglés. No, el um, Excel avanzado. ¿eh? No. Uh -huh. no sé qué tantas personas van a llegar, pero sí. Eso es más que todo gente ya, ya bien no, pro. Sí. Ya bien pro. Bien ducho, como dicen en, en sí. todos los juegos de computadora. Pero ahí le, le queda bien a, a Fernando, creo yo. O él va a ir a dar clases. Por no, todo sí, que... porque Fernando ya está hecho. Es, es, no, pero es son una fórmulas. Computadora. Sí, realmente, como me, me decía Jimmy, pero le voy, a, le voy a averiguar, me dijo, y le voy a mandar el correo del formulario. Uh -huh. Si usted siente que lo alcanza a cubrir, me dijo, pues a nosotros nos conviene, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Con el inglés sí voy a continuar así, mientras se pueda. A veces es un poquito complicado por el horario. A veces estar en cirugía con el audífono en la oreja y escuchando. Y no es lo mismo escuchar, participar y llevar el hilo de la clase que solo estar oyendo. Pues de oyente creo que solo aprendemos a, a oír nada más. ¿Verdad? Pero estamos echándole ahí las ganitas. Estamos tratando de... Estamos tratando de eh, bien importante lo que usted decía de, de hoy de, en el caso de cómo llevar un inventario en, en determinada compañía, pues es bien importante, como le decía, yo he observado el, en la sala de operaciones hay una mini bodega y esa mini bodega yo veo que los encargados, si es posible a diario, llevan la contabilidad de todo lo que se saca por cirugía. Imagínense que es una programación diario de unas 20 cirugías. ¿Se puede usted imaginar estar cortando hilos o suturas que nosotros le llamamos diario? Semanal ya no se diga. Entonces, y si es posible, si, si se desabastece, eh, se pide mensual, ¿verdad? Aunque cada viernes ellos dejan 
eh, equipado para el fin de semana por las emergencias, que las emergencias son mínimas, ¿verdad? digamos unas cinco cirugías por sábado o cinco domingos, pero es bien importante y uno no le da importancia a lo que es un inventario. Como no manejamos el área de bodega ni todo eso, uno desconoce, ¿verdad? Y estos temas hacen que uno se metiche. Bueno, yo soy bien preguntona, creo que eso es bien importante. Aunque y los insumos, que... los insumos son bien críticos en su caso. O sea, no solo sí. son medicinas, sino los insumos para operar, ¿verdad? Sí, y aún la papelería, hasta el alcohol gel, hay un, un control hoy, aunque no lo parezca, guantes, alcohol gel, eh, hasta las torundas que se preparan a diario porque son por paciente, ¿verdad? Entonces, los botes de alcohol, todo es bien contabilizado, aunque no parezca, y se desabastece también porque se suspende mucha cirugía por desabastecimiento de material. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Wow. Pero... A pesar de, sí, un, de ser un, un privado, de eso me sorprendió. Ya, sí, es bien sí, Ese ha sido el tema, inventario, y seguirá siendo el próximo, la próxima unidad, la unidad 4, ya es igual inventario. Es inventario directamente. Sí se complica un poco el tema, ya la otra semana espero hablarles de, de stocks, de mínimos y máximos, eh, un poquito de contabilidad de inventarios, tal vez, costos de inventarios. ¿Cómo los inventarios afectan las compras? Eso es bien interesante también. Muy importante porque yo veo que llevan un forecast, ¿verdad? Un forecast que es, creo que anual. No sé si es... Eh, antes estaba viendo que se llevaba cada seis meses, pero hoy es anual. No, pero porque... imagínense, vio el video. Se fijó en el video. Sí. Es, es increíble, o sea, la tecnología... El día antes era a mano, a mano. Y revisando. Sí. Y tenía que cuadrar. Y si no cuadraba, al bodeguero le trocó. Sí. No pagar lo que faltaba de diferencia, hacer ajustes. Es increíble. Eh, sí. Pero sí, hoy, hoy es increíble ver que todo se puede llevar contabilizado y, y sin necesidad de ir a la bodega. De hecho, increíble. Aunque, aunque siempre hay un pequeño desfalco, ¿verdad? Porque lastimosamente no tenemos un control bien estricto de eso. No, pero es con la bien. tecnología, con esa tecnología, imagínense. Cada llanta, Pero cada más, ¿sí? producto lleva un chip. Yo sigo pensando sí, eso sí. Porque ponerle chip hasta una torunda va a ser algo así como complicado, ¿verdad? Pero esperemos que por lo menos eso permita que no haya tanta necesidad. pues Porque un hospital creo que las necesidades son diarias. ¿verdad? Y cubrirlas tal vez eso permita que no exista tanta deficiencia. ¿Cómo, cómo se llama su hospital, doctor? El médico quirúrgico. Ah, en el MQ. Yo sé que era sí. privado, yo pensando. Yo, hey, yo, me quiero, yo me quiero quitar esta. Bueno, es que la verdad es que se me ha reducido. El quiste. Sí, ya se me está quitando. A veces se me... Se me da. Y se duele, da. no duele. Ahorita me pica, por rato. Pero ya se me Pero redujo. Para... Entonces, ¿para qué la cirugía más la injuria no, quirúrgica? No, no, no. No, lo que me está molestando es esto ahorita. Los recuerdos de mi abuela. No puedo, oh. no puedo, este dedo no lo puedo apoyar y ponerlo recto porque me duele el dedo, o sea, me duele, es artritis. Uy, tan joven. Mi abuelita, mi abuelita tenía los dedos, pero así, pucha, de la pobre. Sí, la entonces, pero me abuela porque echaba tortilla, yo porque. La vendía. La computadora, <risa> yo la vendía, cabrón. <risa> Y se la comía. No, pero esto, esto está pasando, es congénito, creo yo. La crítica me contaron que era uh -huh. también. O sea, uh -huh. ahí voy con eso. Ya no me pongo el anillo, por eso también, porque me. Ah, es que eran excusas, dicho. No, en serio, <risa> lo tengo que mandar a, a arreglar para que me quede. ¿no? Ah, Hay que ponerse la en una cadenita, ve, para que vean que es casado. Ok. <risa> Muchas gracias por quedarse conmigo, gracias, Doc. Gracias. Estamos a la orden. Siga practicando. Cuídense mucho. Gracias. Feliz noche. Good night.